Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Behind the Group podcast. I am DJ Keel. And I am Basil Barrington. And we are back with another classic movie review. Mm -hmm. Today, we're going to check out Manster. This is a 1951 <laughs> flick. And woo, like, well, okay, IMDb, there is a rating for IMDb, but these old flicks, I don't even think it matters, even though it has like over yeah, 10,000 reviews. It's a 5.3. Yeah. You know, I think on Amazon, it was like a, a three star rating. But this mm -hmm. is a 1959 flick. Uh, I was reading up on this, and um, the original name of this flick was called The Split. You get it? The Split? <laughs> yeah. And then the other one was um, The Two-Headed uh, Killer. And then they okay. and then they were like, Manster. I don't, I don't Manster's see- Manster's not a good name. I don't see the correlation between The Split, The Two-Headed Killer, and Manster. Yeah, it's not a good name. Yeah. <laughs> that's a terrible name but this joint was off the chain this was like so funny um, i was hoping that his second head would do stuff like he was just there <laughs> he's just there scary like i thought his head's gonna move around and start talking or something like that or give him bad advice you know yeah. like an angel on his shoulder or whatever his head was just there it I wasn't think he bit talking somebody. anything yeah you know, i was i don't think the technology was there yet I was uh, reading some reviews and they were talking about how campy this film was. And they were saying like, the thing about it is you only saw his second head when he had his overcoat on. So the yeah. overcoat had the yeah. head, you know, he was just, just put the head on dude. Just, he, he just threw the uh, overcoat on. He probably had like a backpack on and something on his shoulder. Like, and that was that. Wow. I mean, this joint was crazy. So how did this guy, okay. So it started off with the guy, the doctor, walking up a mountain this is this is where his crib was yeah yeah he had to walk up walk up the side of a mountain to get there yeah he's just chilling on the mountain doing experiments on people just like, whatever wow and so <laughs> he had uh he already had like some some things he had experimented on like his wife right wow wow yeah so what's the story with his wife his wife wanted to be experimented on or she took it it's kind of like the the bat lady for another movie, she just mm -hmm. took it herself and then turned crazy. Yeah, so the, the wife did woman, that too. exactly. <laughs> yeah, the wife wife just did it herself. Like I got this, I'm gonna take it, whatever. And then the the other guy that was the monster, it was like an ape thing. That was that Tara's boyfriend or husband or something like that or brother. I can, I I don't know. It was okay. a weird comedy. So this is so I kind of was thinking about this once the movie ended. So. Okay, so mm -hmm. his wife was some sort of deformed person, and then yeah, he shot the sort eyeball of, in her cheek. Right, and he <laughs> shot like the werewolf, right? That the, the yeah, first yeah. one, right? Yeah. Do you think that, like, okay, so his wife basically went through the same thing as the reporter, mm -hmm. right? The journalist, yeah. right? And so when they split, the 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 original werewolf or whatever was a part of her. Do you think so? No, no, I said th that werewolf guy or the, it was like a monkey almost. Mm -hmm. He's, that's somebody that the terror knew and the doctor, they both knew this guy. And <laughs> I think he's, he was the original experiment gone wrong or something like that. And then the wife did it and that don't make any sense either. Like, <laughs> okay, we gotta talk about this guy, this mm -hmm. evil mad scientist, his, mm -hmm. why he's doing these things. Very smooth guy, like, isn't he? Yeah, he's like, hey, get some sake. Like, yo, let's uh -huh. go to town. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> have a shot of scotch, and then we'll put you out. Like, <laughs> my man is sleeping. Like, <sighs> he comes around, he shoots him up. He's like, dude, he puts a, he shoots him up with a date drug. You know, he's just yo, like, oh, dude, like, hold that real you all mine tonight. Mm -hmm. My man Bro. woke up wanting, wanting uh, some more drinks. Oh, before you even go on. It started out, this is, uh, it started out on some geisha stuff. They were just at a geisha house, dude. They were, at a, they were having a party, man. That guy, the, the reporter dude, he's like, I'm telling this geisha how to kiss or whatever. Like, mm -hmm. what's happening right now? He, everybody's having drinking wine. They're, they're, it was a rice wine or whatever. They're, they're getting, they're getting down. <laughs> that, all of this stuff was hilarious to me. Like, the cultural stuff was hilarious. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and the ancient, uh, 60s, 50s attitudes about everything. Like, his wife came to town and he was like, get out of here. Like, oh. Choose me or your girlfriend. Like, you right. Know. 
And, and really come to find out, you and, and you know what is so weird, because he was talking to his wife on the phone, and he was like, oh, I love you, I miss you, blah, blah, blah. He hung up the phone and yeah, went yeah. to, like, the geisha house. Right. <laughs> he was like, mm-mm, I love he this, like, forget my wife, party. forget America, the whole nine, yeah, blah, yeah, blah, he was boom, like, you yo, know? I, got, I got to go to this party, I'll, I'm going to see you later when I get back. Like, that's like, yeah. that's all this thing that started. And, uh, yeah, it, it, it's funny, the cultural stuff about it, like, because, uh, like, it was filmed in Japan. Yeah. So there's a lot of Japanese people there, but they're not speaking English though. So yeah. I think there's like two. We talked about this before. But there's two people that spoke English. That's the, it. the doctor mm-hmm. and the police chief. That's it. That's all they could find. They spoke English. They look good English. Yeah. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, because that's the key part. Is like you have to speak regular English because I don't think they might have subtitles in the movie or whatever. So yeah, it is fascinating culturally what life was like in the 50s because these guys <laughs> everybody was walking and smoking and like yo give me a drink yeah give me a drink mad man. nine o'clock in the morning give me a drink like, <laughs> mad man. martini at nine you know so <laughs> yeah um, yeah so you know this this mad doctor he was uh just experimenting he you know the thing about these doctors and these flicks like this um it's just like i'm doing this for for humanity it's just like no you're not doing it for science no, you're not. You know, giving people enzymes for science. Right, exactly. No, you're not. You're just trying to make some money. You're trying to put something on the market so you know you can sell it. Um, yeah. And so this guy there's, who there's got no the, good logical reason none for why all. he did what he did. Absolutely Zero. not. You know, and um, <laughs> so and the other thing is why him? Why experiment on the reporter? Okay, the, the doctor said that this guy is the perfect fit for the this new drug that they're working on, whatever. He's like, <laughs> and Tara was like, no, 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 why are we doing this again? He's like, no, no, it's the perfect thing. Shut up, woman. Like, he was like, how tall are you? Talking. Like, oh, really? How much do yeah. you weigh? Really? How large are your feet? Oh, he's the perfect specimen. Yeah, right. he's asking personal questions. Like, yeah, let me learn a little more about you. He's like, where's your wife? Like, what you doing? What you, what you up to? Like, that's the... That's when he's like, oh, okay, take this guy Geisha House. We got you. Yeah. Mm. Doctor was creepy, too, because when he shot him up, he just sat there looking at him until he woke up. He was just like, it was almost I like. I would laugh that hard in a long time. Yeah. Man. It was almost like he was just like, oh, I can't wait until you wake up. And, and, oh, I just can't wait for you to wake up. I'm just Dude, like. He sat at a table with his, his wine or whatever scotch thing. Yeah. With his pictures. Just sitting there with his arms crossed, waiting for him to wake up. Like that's crazy. Looking at a sleeping me. man. Looking a man. At looking at a sleeping man. You know, just like wow, really? Okay, <laughs> it's at crazy. Watch, like all right. Yeah, and then you had the Keystone police officers <laughs> who was chasing this two-headed monster around, right? Bro, that was crazy. <laughs> what do you think about um? What do you think about the two-headed monster's parkour skills? He was like jumping <laughs> off of like two-foot buildings. He was like one-foot building. <laughs> Quarter building. I'm just like, really? Come on, what's going on here? My man was jumping off. Yeah, his parkour skills were like, no, they're not good. (laughs) With the coat and everything, because he has to be like heavy when he's carrying. Yeah, he's just jumping over stuff. That all all of this stuff was funny. Mm -hmm. And I know, like at 1951, this was the most horrifying movie people ever seen. But oh my god, by today's standard, this was all hilarious. Yeah, from to from top to bottom, everything was funny about this movie. Yeah, and then like the, you know the police chief, the the reporters, mm-hmm. the give me a scotch. I just woke up. Everything about this movie is funny, right? And then the, the wife comes to Japan. Like we'll we'll get to that in a second. Like go yeah. go ahead. But um, yeah, that's that's very funny because um, <laughs> you know they were like the key. I call them Keystone cops because these guys were clueless. Yeah. The police officer was were clueless. It's like you know a million cop cars following this guy, and he got away. He got away. Yeah, every you see like a caravan of cop cars, like twenty cars yeah. in a row. This guy got and away, then, yeah. you know. And then you were just talking about his wife. His wife was like, mm, "I'm coming to see my husband," you know. <laughs> he's, like, he's not himself. We can Rule save him. Number like... one. Rule number one: Don't go visit your husband if you think something is going on, because you may find something yeah. you don't. You're gonna find see. what you're looking for. That's right? What you're exactly. <laughs> So she was like, I'm leaving him. You know, she was like, I'm going to stay with you. I'll wait until midnight, you know, and it's just like, he's like, I'm going with her, you know. So, and the <laughs> other thing is this, the, um, this was a complete setup. So Terry was like in on it. You yeah, know? yeah. She's setting everybody up. Yeah. She's, she's getting this guy in there like, yo, let's go to this bathhouse. Like, let's have some fun. And the, and the way Dr. Scarvin, 
she's known to have fun sometimes, if mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Like, right. wink, wink. Like. He was just yeah, basically yeah. Like, like, dude, like, he, she bas- he basically said, the doctor said to his secretary, like, listen, I need mm-hmm. you to go do whatever you need to do to make sure this guy doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. And then, yeah. And then the, the morals of this movie... <laughs> You <laughs> see, it's like I'll do it, but you gotta break up with your wife first. But uh, right. you know, let's do this thing. Like right? mm-hmm. the morals are just off, off the chain for everybody in this movie. Everybody's a terrible person. And this across is, the board. And this, you know what? And here's the other thing. Just like with the wasp woman, right? The wasp mm-hmm. woman had a plot, a storyline. Mm-hmm. This one, yeah. You didn't. I mean, I didn't see the the two headed monster or no at plot. least the eye until like forty five minutes into the into yeah, the movie. Yeah, the movie's almost like an hour and ten minutes long. Like yeah, that's it. You know, the so done and he turns into a two headed person, and that's the end of that. Right, but <laughs> and you then know, when the, the doctor gives him the the serum to to revive to turn back to normal, mm-hmm. or is he gonna be like a vampire or werewolf? Whatever, he's gonna come back every every moon, uh, full moon or something like that. Like, what's gonna happen here? Is it completely out of his system? What was um his? Why was he killing? Why did he have to kill? I, he just turned into a monster. He's a man. He's a monster now. What do you want him to do? Like, he's, got, he's out there. He's what got, is a monster? Like, <laughs> mon mon man, you, man monster. <laughs> I mean, it's just like the man. It's not even the monster. It's monster or the. It's just like really monster. Okay, <clears throat> it's so crazy. They were being clever with the ideas with the names. Yeah. I can't remember the name of that um, movie that had the uh, two-headed monster. It was Rosie Greer and another guy, and one was, like, really evil, and the other one was kind of calm. That movie was, like, I think that was something I saw, like, in the 70s or 80s. It was a really wild okay. film, you know? It's like a so, black exploitation kind of movie? Like, what was it? No, it was, like, dude, it was the the other person was, um who is the guy who played in, um yeah, Rosie Greer, and then... Oh, who is the other guy? I want to say, oh, what's, I, I think it was um Newton. I think <laughs> Newton played the, I can't remember y'all for real, but it was like okay. that. So, um, okay. So, oh boy, once he sees that, first of all, if I saw an eye on my shoulder. Bro, we're going to the doctor what, like right now. I don't like, know what I would do. Bro, you need to check this out. Big bro, eye to too. Big eye. But this is the thing. He never went back to the doctor throughout this entire thing until the end of the movie. Nope. Like, shouldn't you be like, yo, bro, check this out. There's something <laughs> in my eye. There's an eye going on my deck. Like, what happened? You know anything about this? Like, he never bothered him once this entire like, movie. Why am I, my shoulder here? And then once the head came out, the second head. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, the first time you need to go see this doctor is when you got a hairy arm. Yeah. You'd be like, yo, bro, check this out. Something's yeah. wrong here. He didn't do anything. He was like, he put a, who he put a glove on. He's like, ah, I hurt myself. This one, you know. He, so <laughs> but he had no idea that like he was shot up with something by the doctor, though, right? No, but I'm saying like you know you're going to see a, a geneticist or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What other geneticist do you know? <laughs> you know one guy in Japan. Like, go talk to that dude. Like, hey, yeah, check this out. Something happened. Yo, you were at his geisha party two days ago. Like, go <laughs> check this out. <laughs> the geisha party. You got to be at a geisha <laughs> party. So, old boy was running around killing people arbitrarily, just like, oh, ah, oh, ah, yeah, you got a monk, you know, just like, lady walking down the hallway or whatever. Like, he's just killing Woman wasn't doing ready. anything. She was going home from a long day, uh, right. long day's work. Business. You know, yeah. was going to go home, make some food, read the newspaper, maybe watch a soap opera. And he ended mm-hmm. her life just like that. You know, insane, absolutely it, insane. And yo, this guy, <laughs> for someone who doesn't isn't from that country, he sort of knew where to run. You know, when he was trying to get away, man. <laughs> he was just like in the yeah, woods. He was in a cemetery. He was at the shipyard. Probably, I was just like, this yeah, guy knew everything. This, yeah, he's very familiar with the landscape there. Like, hmm, okay. <laughs> hmm. He it, pulled out this Google Maps and he's good to go. Like, I don't, I don't know where, how, how he knew everywhere to go, but it's interesting because it, it, it's too easy though. Those cops are terrible. Yeah, like, let's be real. Here. <laughs> the doctor was kind of ruthless though, huh? He killed his first monster and then he killed his wife. He's blasting people. He's blasting everybody. He killed his wife, dude. Yeah. What do you? Well, I think he tried to save her and he's like, I can't do this. All right, no. we're done here. Okay. <laughs> 
Do you think that when he shot his wife and the way his wife died, should she receive an Oscar? Because she died, she was like, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> slowly. I was like, what? Like, okay, <laughs> this was like an 18 minute death right here, dude. What's up? Everything about this movie is hilarious. Like, there's no part, intentionally or unintentionally, everything about this movie is hilarious. <laughs> And uh, the speeches that Tara is giving the doctor, it, I was cracking up. Like, she's like, I am cold. I have no heart anymore. Like, right. You know why. <laughs> like, she's like, oh, she's like, he said, oh, you have feelings. You love him. He was, she was like, dude, I mean, why do we have to continue killing people? You know, putting second heads on people, right? So how did this two-headed monster, so finally, this two-headed monster came apart, literally. <laughs> Yeah, he, the doctor gave him an enzyme. That's all they knew <laughs> back in the day. Like, it's like enzyme. We'll use it for everything. Yeah. You want a wasp lady? Get you some enzymes. Some K- KY jelly. Like, you throw everything in there. Like, there's no that, names for this stuff. That was pretty <laughs> wild, man. How, like, the they just came apart and created two people. Yeah. That, that was is- wild. <laughs> and he's fighting himself. Like, everything about this is insane. This movie's insane. And uh, yeah, mm-hmm. so you, you're they're like, well, he's got to go to jail, but you know he's a good guy now. It's fine. Like, yeah. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> he killed everyone. Yeah, he's got to go to jail. But um, you know um, you know when I look at these classic films and I look at the plot and everything, mm-hmm. man, like the just the imagination of like people mm-hmm. creating these flicks back in the day, a two headed monster that then splits <laughs> apart into two people. <coughs> That's yeah. the plot. <laughs> basically right? and it happens in the last 10 minutes of the movie right <laughs> he fights so, a, as an ape or whatever like he just fights him and pushes him off a cliff and that's the end of that exactly <laughs> you know well you know he um he throws him down the um um the volcano a, that's volcano. what happened a volcano. Yeah. yeah so he burnt them to death <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah Ter- terror got he got it too like you, so okay. Doctor, mm. doctor got stabbed. Tara, they pushed her off the the mountain top <laughs> into the volcano, and then this this alter ego got off the thing too. Right. Like he just transformed very quickly too. Like I, <laughs> that was like this whole process was over days, and then boom, done. Done. So that uh the en- the enzyme the serum worked really fast that he gave him to transform him. Like hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The it's doctor needed fat. to, um, the wow. doctor, he was like, uh, so he was stabbed by, you know, the manster, mm-hmm. basically. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, but that was before, like, he shot his wife first. That was wild that he shot his wife. He was like, oh, you know what, mm-hmm. I don't need you anymore, pal. Like, wow. Well, everybody's heartless in this movie, man. <laughs> totally, you know. Everybody's heartless. Before we wrap this up, do you think that the editor was really into the master's wife, really? You think he was, like, gunning for her? Like, he really wanted to link up with his wife, right? <laughs> it seemed like it. Yeah, there's something with that. Like, they were very chubby-chubby. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're very chubby. They, there's something about that. It's He's something like, it's going to be okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, she, was, she flew to town. She went to see him first. Like, no. And you know he, what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, yeah. Mm. Yeah, there's gonna be okay. Like I don't know, so something's going on there. Something was very interesting and fishy there, but who knows? The movie was an uh, hour and twenty minutes. Mm-hmm. Kind of cool movie. Again, these um, I'm surprised that um, this movie, which was only like I said, an hour and ten, hour and twenty minutes, it actually mm-hmm. had a storyline. It had a plot. What the, okay, what what is the motivation for this evil scientist guy? What is his motivation? They didn't say. Because he seems like a well-adjusted guy. He's mm-hmm. not like he's some weirdo in a, in a cave somewhere. He, he seems well-traveled. He likes sake. He Fine. likes geishers, you know. Um, yeah, he's chilling. He's a man about town. Yeah. He's the most uh-huh. interesting man in the world. Like, he's doing his thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know he's what his like, angle was, man, you know, but I think it was for science, for money, right? I mean, that's what it really comes everything's down to. Everything's for science. Yeah. We're mm-hmm. doing it for science. Look at these all these notes he has. Like, yeah. All right. <laughs> But then, you know, 
but then you know after his experiments don't do well he just ends up killing them like shooting them blasting people throwing them down a mountain that's it that's that's wild (laughs) oh wifey i don't need you anymore not to mention you don't look too hot so you got to go bye-bye okay yeah her she had an eye in her cheek like it was like super like long eye too that eye was about this yeah, long like, sideways on yeah her. it was like it just put plaster on her face and like you'll put something on here they were done here we man can, so we can afford the budget for sci-fi we always talk about in some of these flicks where like the last episode you get like the bang bang so in these like little one hour one hour and 10 minute flicks the last yeah, 15 minutes you get the bang minutes. bang yeah you know they do everything in there they build this, up this high speed chase yeah. they had a uh, uh, he's fighting his, his doppelganger. <laughs> they threw people off a mountain. He's arrested, and he's like, he, he was like the Hulk. Like all his clothes were ripped up. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> it, it's insane. Everything's insane about this. It's movie. insane, man. But it was a pretty good movie. What are you gonna rate the master from 1951? I mean, 1959. I, I had a ball, so I'm I'm giving it a 6.5 because mm-hmm. it's terrible but fun. Yeah, it's re- it's a ridiculous movie. It everything about this movie is ridiculous, but hilarious by today's standards. So I had a ball. I laughed through the whole movie, yeah. like the whole hour or whatever. I was laughing, like I was cracking up, drinking something. So like, yeah, it's was, it was a great movie. It's crazy. Watch man. it for the jokes alone. Like yeah. it's hilarious. Just the jokes. Um, I'm gonna give it a seven because you know it's like a campy sci-fi horror. That's what they it's call a like fun movie. Yeah, that's what they, you know, it was just like, they, they're calling these type of movies sci-fi yeah. horror, right? It was very campy. I'm giving it a seven. It was super funny. Um, mm-hmm. There was a storyline. You know, this is from 1951. Yeah. We complain about, you know, showrunners not doing the right thing for things mm-hmm. being created today. This had a storyline and a plot from 1959, and it was all within they wrapped hour, everything and, up. hour and yeah, 10 they minutes. Up. Ten minutes, they wrapped everything up. Like boom, boom exactly. this guy did, this guy did, da, yeah, da, da, da. so I'm giving this a <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, I, I'm I'm really liking these, you know, classic movies. They they're just fun to watch. This short, you got to love that. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't find a budget for this film, but I can't imagine this this was more than a hundred thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars, twenty dollars. Yeah. I don't know. I like, imagine that, man. They filmed that location though. So, well, which was cheaper Japan. than recording mm-hmm. like in America, even back in 59, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, The Manster, a movie from 1959. This is available on Amazon. Amazon has all of these classic films. Keo gave it a 6.5. I am giving it a 7. Go watch it on Amazon. Well, there you have it. Another episode of the Behind the Groove podcast. I am Basil Barrington. I am DJ Keo. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And until next time, peace. All right.